Mitch, what is it like being out here on the new turf? Uh, it's awesome. It's definitely a lot softer. Um, definitely appreciative of everybody that got this turf in quick, too. Quick turnaround, probably like three months. Um, yeah, very thankful. Feels a lot better out here. Offensively, how do you think you guys are coming together? It was like two weeks now, so how are you feeling about that? Um, good. I mean, I feel like a lot of guys have stepped up into new roles. Um, we've had a lot of guys that have played a lot of football, but not necessarily started a lot of games. Um, so I think they've done a good job adapting to their new role. Um, and everybody's working hard. You know, we're getting better every day. Obviously, there's some mistakes here and there, and that's just, you know, football. And the big thing is, you know, not making the same mistake twice. And today was the first day uh, we worked on red zone as a team. So um, it was a good day, solid day. Guys running hard, guys playing hard. Just uh, little things to correct, as always. Yeah. But overall, it's been it's been good. You talk about noticed, people noticed. that have played a lot of football. You know, where have you seen the development in Donovan Green in the off season? Yeah, I mean, physically, I mean that guy's like, you know, that guy's probably been fully developed since like seventeen. <laughs> <laughs> He's a freak. But no, I think I think for Donny, um, honestly, just yeah, every year he he gets better mentally. Uh, just leadership wise, um, you know, he, he's an older guy in that room and a lot of guys look up to him because um, of the success he's had, how, how much hard work he's put in, um, you know, mastering his craft. Has, he's done a good job of that this offseason too, asking good questions about routes and little details about things, you know, you know, how, how do you want me to take my release, you know, how, just thinking about the whole play as a, um, the, the play as a whole instead of just his individual position. So he's, he's done a great job with that, um, but he's, He's always been, you know, dominant, physically dominant. So he's just taking next steps mentally too. How's the communication going with Michael, um, your center, Jerry? Oh, Jerry. Yeah. Yeah. So Jerry's actually at guard now. So we've been working with um, uh, Luke Pettibones at center. Um, but like having Jerry there, is, you know, having Jerry's at guard next to Luke. And Luke's played a lot of games um, for us. He was out last year in ACL, but the year before that, he played. He played a lot. Um, but having Jerry's back is awesome because he's just, you know started so many games and so much experience um, on the field, off the field as a leader. Um, but just being able to communicate with all those guys and kind of talking with Luke and having Jerry's listen in and make sure we're on the same page. Um, he really uh, runs the ship for us. Do you, go, do you go to Jerks like just off the field to ask him questions here and there? Yeah, yeah, and it's not even just asking the questions, just watching how he, he takes care of his business. Um, you know, just listen to him in the meeting room, listen to him interact with other teammates, and when things come up, um, you know, that, that need to be resolved, just listen to how he delegates those things. I think he does a just a phenomenal job. He's, you know, whatever happens in his football career, you know, off the field, he's he's going to be just as successful. He's he's an awesome guy. Mitch, to that point, saw you off to the side taking snaps with Luke and Clapper. You yep. know, with Jurgens moving to that guard role mm -hmm. and, and a new center coming in, and you know, a relatively new offensive line. How important is it to have a, a full spring ball and then summer ball coming up with those guys? Yeah, it's huge. The, the most important thing is being on the same page uh, with them because you know, the, without them, they, you know, the offense can't move. So just you know, cadence wise, being on the same page, um, protection wise, being on the same page. You know, if you know. Me helping them. If I see something that they can't see when they're closer to the ball, helping them out. Them helping me out. Um, just making calls and constantly communicating and getting in the film room, watching together and hanging out with the guys. And um, it's been good. I think it's definitely important uh, spring and summer to get with those guys and work with them. So I think we've done a good job so far, but it's still room to grow. And then having had you know a majority of summer ball last year as QB one, mm -hmm. you know probably a little bit of a different experience now having spring ball for the first time at QB one. Yeah. How important is it to have this time and you know to, to really get into that role? Yeah, last year I, you know kind of thrown into the fire, but um, it's definitely important just to kind of for me really you know I, I've always been confident in myself, but really gaining confidence in my teammates and showing that hey you know Mitch Mitch can do this. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously I can't do it without my teammates. They, they help me. They make me look good all the time, you know. I'm throwing the ball up to some freaks out there and getting a lot of time in the pocket. But, yeah, that was a big thing for me. Just, you know, last year was kind of just like really there was no other – like he was just like, hey, Sam went hurt. Sam got down. Like we, you know, we just got to go in there. Um, so it wasn't like I necessarily earned that. Um, so now it's really just, you know, I'm, I'm in this spot now and it's really just uh, getting the comments of my teammates and coaches. Has anybody missed, called you Sam by accident? Uh, no, we don't look alike at all. He's, uh, he's, he's a bigger you guy. No beard. No beard. I'm working on it. Um, yeah, I'm working on it. Hopefully, hopefully in 2024 I'll have a beard. But um, no, no one calls me Sam. On that point of having, you know, one quarterback gone, you know, you're, you've become kind of a veteran role yeah. in this program. But how big is it to have a guy like Michael Kern back, you know, one of those older voices yeah. just to, to have him behind you, helping you out? Yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome because, you know, with Michael, it's, he, you know, he knows what he's doing. He knows his job. He's, 
you know, he knows the offense inside and out. So it's nice, you know, you know, bouncing ideas off of him and asking for his opinion. You know, if I if I thought I missed a guy, I can I can always go to Michael and be, hey, did you see that? What'd you what'd you think about that play? And he's always giving me good feedback, and I try to do the same for him if, if he asks me a question. Um, so you know, quarterback position is a whole room. So it, it's it's been super helpful having Michael. Um, and you know, we we always try to help each other out. He's a great guy on and off the field. He's he's probably the, the nicest, kindest human I've ever met. So it's nice having him on 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 our you know having my back and I have his back. So it's been cool. That was good. Perfect. Yep. Thanks, Thank you. Appreciate it.